Hey, here's some story. This lady called her doctor. She said, doctor, she said, I hate to tell you this, but you're giving me the wrong hormone pills. Doctor said, this is morning, Mrs. Hanson. She said, I couldn't make a mistake like that. I'm 47 years in business. I couldn't do that. She said, listen, man, you gave me the wrong hormone pills. She, doctor said, well, how do you know I gave you the wrong hormone pills? She said, well, I got hair growing down my chest. She said, doctor said, well, how far down is it growing? She said, down to my dick. <laughs> I don't have any kids myself. Yeah. All of you, you folks, you folks are married, aren't you? Children? How many? Three children. And sir, you're a motherfucker. <laughs> That's right. She's a mother three times, isn't she? Motherfucker, you. I bet you never thought you'd laugh when a black dude called you a motherfucker. <laughs> Man, that's beautiful. Things are changing around the country. No kidding. Uh, how you feel, pal? Hey, by yourself? Have you tried band roll-on? <laughs> Take $100 out of your pocket and enjoy yourself. <laughs> $100, man, that's ridiculous. Pardon me. My first impression. Eskimo going to the toilet. <laughs> See, there were two buddies. There were two good buddies. And one guy, he was a practical joker, so he bought one of those rubber dolls. You know, you sell them in the porno stores. Maybe you got one. <laughs> <laughs> and you blow them up, and they're life-size dolls. You know, you put a little grease on them. And he bought one of these dolls, greased it, and put it in his bed and pulled the cover over it. And called his buddy, he said, man, I got a chick over here. She's too much for me. I can't, can't handle it by myself. He said, hurry on over here. Before he could hang up the phone, his buddy was coming to the door. He said, where is she? He said, she's in the bedroom. His buddy went in the bedroom. He's in the bedroom about one minute. And he came back outside. He said, man, where'd you meet her? He said, God damn. His buddy said, what happened? He said, man, what a freak. I bit her on the neck, and she farted and floated out the window. <laughs> necessary. You know, that's why when I mention religion, I mention the Lord. But he was wonderful. The Lord created the fart. He created the fart, then put a smell in it so the deaf could enjoy it. If you were up here, you could see some of the faces, you know, just from the word fart. I mean, hell, that's nothing to be upset about. I mean, think back, remember? <laughs> Someone around here just farted. <laughs> you know black people carry knives, don't you? <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do, black people carry knives. I must be black because I got a knife. I was born in St. Louis, Missouri. I used to wake up butt naked and put my knife on. <laughs> I'm black. A lot of whites say they want to be black now. Hell, we've been black all the time. I never heard one of you call us a Negro son of a bitch. It was always a black son of a bitch, wasn't it? <laughs> well, make up your fucking mind, white friends. What are we? You said, I'm black because people are colors. Black, white, yellow, brown, and red. There's no Negro in the crayon box. <laughs> that was heavy, wasn't it? Social comment. I got to drop one in every now and then because I am black. See, niggas are superstitious. You can tell the difference. See, niggas believe in ghosts, rabbit's feet, and black cats. I'm black. I don't believe in none of that shit. If I see a ghost, I'm going to cut it. <laughs> the police find seven, eight ghosts with their throat cut, won't be no more ghosts. <laughs> you couldn't beg a white guy to put a sheet on and say, boo, nowhere. Ku Klux Klamen be wearing checkerboard tablecloth. <laughs> and, and rabbit's feet. Nigga, how could a rabbit's foot be lucky when the rabbit lost it? <laughs> Big $2.50 for a goddamn foot with claws on it, tag your suit up. 
Get the body where the meat is and wrap some greens and sweet potatoes around his ass and feed your children. <laughs> Foot and, and black cats. You'll kill your whole family in a station wagon ducking a black cat. I run right over there, Harry ass. <laughs> I'm not gonna wreck my $84,000 Rolls Royce on no six cent cat. <laughs> That's bad arithmetic. The way I figure it, 84,000 goes over six one time with nothing left over. <laughs> See, cat lovers hate me, but fuck them, man. <laughs> People need dogs today. See, when a burglar comes to your home and hears, meow, meow, break right in. Get your Doberman that meows. <laughs> Shit. Then you got yourself something. No I'm kidding, I love animals myself. But the only thing I don't like rats. I mean, how'd you turn around every night and say, you ain't no dream either. <laughs> you can look up at me. I've seen you before, when you killed overseas. <laughs> I never marched. You never saw me marching, did you? Cause it's hard for a man to get out there and march and let somebody run into a crowd and pop him upside the head with an axe handle and all he's supposed to do is lay there and hum, we shall overcome. I say, shit. I don't want to overcome, I'd go crazy. <laughs> let, let's leave it like it is. <laughs> my fifth pack today. It's my business. Got to leave here with something. A friend of mine quit smoking, got killed by a tobacco truck. <laughs> Ran over its clean lungs. <laughs> like me, I'm a war veteran. I was there. Were you in service? I was a hero. I don't want to mention it, but you forced it out of me. <laughs> I was a hero. Who do you think they named the foxhole after, Hoover? <laughs> I was there. I backed up so far in one battle, I bumped into a general. He said, why are you running? I said, I'm running because I cannot fly, you asshole. <laughs> are they kidding me? It's tough in the service. You were there, weren't you? Where were you, Lieutenant? Don't lie now. <laughs> See, a lot of people lie about you. See, unbutton your collar then, you're twiddling your thumbs. What, is stock market doing bad? <laughs> I know you're into big money. I can tell big door when I see it. That's why I can't stand poor people. They always look up at you like they want something. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I don't like, I don't give a goddamn if old people don't enjoy me, because you're not gonna be fans long anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, it's, it's a little kid who was in school, and the teacher asked all the kids in school. She said, I want you kids to give me a sentence using the word definitely. So a little girl stood up and said, teacher, the sky is definitely blue. She said, no, no, Marianne. She said, when storm cloud, clouds fill the sky, it's not definitely blue. She said, I don't know, little girl stood up. She said, teacher, the grass is definitely green. She said, no, Joan, when the sun shines down hot on the grass, it browns it, so it's not definitely green. So a little boy stood up and said, teacher, uh, can I say something for teach? She said, yes, Billy, what is it? He said, teacher, uh, when, uh, when, said, when, you, when you break wind, does it have a lump in it? <laughs> she said, no, Billy. He said, well, I have definitely shit. <laughs> Don't look at me, the kid said it. <laughs> Little bitty white kid. <laughs> oh, I want to mention something else about white saying that we all look alike. When it's absolutely wrong, white friends, carry your own burden. It's not black people that look alike, it's you that look alike. All of y'all are just white. Look around the room. All of y'all are white, but look at us. The chocolate rainbow. Black people, all different colors, 
black walnut, burnt almond, chocolate, chocolate mocha, pecan, vanilla, yellow, mellow, light, bright, and damn near white. You didn't see that. You know Lena Horne don't look like Esther Ross. 